Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we will talk about customer churn. So this is the second part of the video. In first video, we talked about customer retention, right? So please watch that video because I will be using same query which we built for customer retention in this and make the changes. So this will not make sense to you if you are directly watching this video. Okay, so what is customer churn? So in customer retention, we saw uh, that we want to see the customers which ordered in last month and this month as well, right? So I, my driving table was this month because I want to see how many customers are ordering this month as well as last month. Okay, so I joined with la, uh, uh, last month table and the difference between this month and last month order should be one. The month difference should be one and I joined the customer ID and that way I got that for the first month there was no retention because there was no data for the December last year and for this month uh, second February. Uh, we have three customer retained, right? This is how we did it. La now, let's see for customer churn. So, customer churn, it will be reverse, right? Whatever customer order in last month, but they did not order in this month. So, my driving table will be last month because those customers will not be there for this month, right? So, let me run this again. So, we will see what should be the data. So, data should be, so for Jan, if we see for Jan and Feb, this, this customer ordered in Jan and Feb both, right? Again, customer ID 2 ordered in Jan and Feb. So there is no churn. Jan to Feb, there is no churn for these two customer ID. Again, because these were retained customer anyway. So there is no churn. So if you see customer ID 4, this guy ordered in January but not in Feb. So this is a customer churn. So this customer will be lost in a way, right? Customer ID 5 is anyway new for Feb. So if you see for Jan to Feb, there will be one customer churn. And for Feb to March, they will be all customer churn because there is no data for March. So again, for this matrix, last month data does not, doesn't make sense. Similarly, for the retention, we said first month data doesn't make sense because that is the first month. So we can't see the retention. And for churn, for the latest month, we can't see the churn. Okay. So, so let's see how we can do it. So what I'm going to do, I want to see customers who ordered it last month, but not in this month, right? So I am going to swap this. I will swap this here and this is my this month. So last month is my driving now and this month same join condition customer ID and difference between the month should be one right. What I will do now I will just show the data as it is first. Just commenting it out to show last underscore month dot star comma this underscore month dot star okay just see it carefully also i will do i will do a filter where month i'm i would just want to see january data otherwise it will be confusing So I am just filtering on last month data and let's run it. So there are four rows, right? So we said because in last month customer ID 5 was not there. 5 was only there in Feb. So if you see for the first three customers, we have data for this month as well, right? So this is last month orders, these three order ID 256 and this is this month, right? So which means, which means for these three, there is no churn. We have data for Jan and Feb both. This is how we joined it. But only for customer ID 4, there is no data for Feb. It means this is a customer churn. So what I can I do? I will put this condition where month is fine and customer ID, which means this month dot cust ID is null. So I will get those customers which are not present this month but were there last month, right? If I run this, I will get one customer count. So what I will do now, I will just remove everything. Okay. And this will be my last month because my driving table is last month. And this also will be, this I will remove for now. and group by again last month okay and count of distant customers from 
last month only so this is all fine so let me run this so if you see for the month of first in the month of first there was one customers which we lost so see it depends on metrics how you are defining you will say we lost in february right so you can add one in that so it depends how you want to represent for month two it is like all four customers we lost because there is no data for march okay i hope this makes sense do like the video and comment and let me know if you have any doubt thanks for watching